Hi, my name is Julie Withers. Um, I'm currently a student at Liberty University uh, in the Master's of Education in School Counseling Concentration. Uh, this is a project for COSC 521. Um, it's the Foundations of Exceptionalities class, and this is a little vlog on a child that I was able to observe. Um, his name is Patrick. And I've been able to see him a few times now. Um, he is an adopted child from California that is currently living in Georgia with his other two adopted siblings. Um, and he has two mothers, which uh, in this region of Georgia is very unique. Um, there are not very many same-sex couples um, and not very many adopted children. Um, but um, Patrick uh, was actually introduced to me at open house by his moms. Uh, they brought him in along with his two other siblings uh, just to kind of get to know me and uh, so that they could explain some of his specialness. Um, he is a Caucasian second grade boy. Um, uh, nothing really stood out when I first met him. They told me that he really needed space, that he didn't like to be around a lot of people. Um, but he did very well. I have a sensory table in my office and he kind of took right to it and was very interested and played with his siblings as they explored, you know, different aspects of my office. Um, Patrick is diagnosed with um, autism as well as ADHD. Uh, he does have a 504 plan that is case managed by our assistant principal. Uh, I've actually been able to spend some time in his classroom observing him as well as some of the other classmates. This particular teacher has a few uh, very uh, unique uh, kids in his class. Um, Patrick in particular, um, on his 504, uh, they say that he has, you know, trouble paying attention. Um, that was something that I did observe. Uh, he would stand up sporadically. During instruction, he kind of sat on the edge of his seat, uh, did a lot of fidgeting, um, didn't really interact with any of the other kids in his class, just kind of stayed to his own little bubble, but definitely was very active and you could tell had a um, hard time paying attention uh, to whatever the teacher was talking about. Um, Patrick is uh, special in several ways, but one of the things that I thought was kind of interesting is Every Tuesday, uh, he stays home and therapy services come to his home. Uh, he gets uh, ABA therapy. Um, it's kind of a behavioral analysis therapy, I believe. Um, he also gets OT, uh, occupational therapy, and speech therapy. Um, they also work with him uh, different ways to socialize and kind of interact in a very stable, contained environment in his home. Um, one of the things that I think is interesting about Patrick and I'm thinking is uh, pretty universal to the autism spectrum um, students that I've come across is the flat affect. Um, so I always try to tell some kind of silly joke or relate to the kids in some kind of way and where his siblings um, kind of got the joke and responded, uh, he just very straight-faced, not interested in giving me even the littlest bit of a chuckle. Um, I guess I either need to work on my material or that's just, uh, you know, his inability to really process um, humor. Um, uh, as far as academically, I did read through his 504 and Patrick is uh, in the 24th percentile on a te the test that we give in Georgia called the MAP test. And it's just really to kind of gauge to see where kids get it. They get it, I believe, three or four times a year. And um, 24th percentile is very low in reading. Um, so that is one of the things that they're specializing and kind of concentrating on on Tuesdays with him is uh, the reading skills and his ability to kind of understand that information. Um, uh, like I said, socially, he, he does. He doesn't like to be near others. He doesn't want to be touched. Um, because of social distancing, uh, all of the desks are 
you know, spread out, but his in particular is kind of in a corner to where he doesn't have children on two sides of him. Um, and I think that that was a deliberate move uh, by the teacher uh, in planning, you know, the setup of the classroom. Um, and like I said, behaviorally, he just kind of would, would stand up sporadically, uh, very on the edge of his seat. Uh, one thing that he was able to do was follow directions. Uh, the teacher did a go noodle exercise and he popped right up and was able to follow the prompts on the go noodle activity. Um, he's a very sweet kid. I didn't see any, um, any reasons. He, he wasn't, uh, disruptive. He wasn't, um, uh, mean, uh, to anyone in any way. Just, you could tell, kind of wanted to stay to himself. Um, uh, when I left, I gave the kids either fist bumps or high fives, and he was not really interested, uh, in doing that. So, um, one of the other things I wanted to mention really quickly is all over his 504, there is mention of his diet. Um, his moms uh, really don't want him to be uh, exposed to any kind of sugar. Um, on one hand, he prefers raw vegetables. He doesn't, he likes very bland food and he likes the texture of raw vegetables. Um, so, you know, good for him that he likes to eat healthy, but on the other hand, um, you know, he's not, uh, they're not willing to let him even try or be exposed to any kind of sugar. They're not really sure what that would do to his temperament or how that would affect, you know, his ability to focus, uh, in school. So, um, I will continue to be working with Patrick throughout the year. Um, it'll be interesting to see one of his adopted siblings uh, is in a different class, also in second grade. Um, and I'm going to be looking at them during breakfast duty to kind of see how they interact as well. Um, really fun exercise uh, uh, to be able to actually focus on one particular child and uh, kind of follow him around a little bit. So uh, thank you very much.